Hey guys, it's Jennifer. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. So today I have with me a friend of mine who is an elementary school teacher as well as a mom of a special needs daughter and she is going to teach us how to make switch toys or adapted toys easily and quickly uh, so you can play at home. Here we go. All right, hello, my name is Beth, and this is my daughter, Alice, and we are gonna show you guys how to make some switch toys using a battery interrupter. So what you're gonna wanna do is get yourself one of these. This is called a battery interrupter, and I'll kind of put it close to the camera so you can see it. Um, I got this on Amazon for about $15. We'll post the link in the bio so you can see um, what it is. But this is just from Enabled Solutions, and we purchased a AA battery interrupter um, because the toy that we're going to adapt, the two toys we're going to adapt, take AA batteries. So you're going to want to make sure you have the right adapter for the right batteries. So what you're going to do is go to the back where the batteries are. You're going to pop out one of the batteries. It doesn't matter which of the batteries you take out. And you're going to put your battery interrupter against the positive terminal. So just kind of place it. I know my fingers are hard to see but just kind of place it right there so you can put it in between the terminal and the battery. So then I'm just gonna pop the battery back in. And it does take a little bit of finesse to make sure your um, battery interrupter doesn't slide around because it has to block that terminal. Mm -hmm. And then the best toys to use for this um, battery interrupter are toys with a on-off switch. Like this one has this on-off switch on it. Um, so you don't want one that has a lot of um, buttons or one, like, like if you turn it on, then you have to push several other buttons to make it work because a battery interrupter usually doesn't work with things like that. So let's hope this works on the first shot. So we're gonna take um, our button. I just have this button that was purchased on Amazon from Learning Resource. Um, these are about 50 bucks a piece, but fortunately you can use the same button on lots of toys, which is why I don't solder my battery interrupter um, to my terminal so that I can pull it out and use it with multiple toys. So you just plug it in like this. Okay, let me turn it on. So then if Alice pushes the button, So this is just a simple one that you can make from a toy that we already had. And then the other one, and then I just pop it right out and then turn the toy off. The other one that we have is a frog that blows bubbles. This one I purchased off Amazon for around $15, $20. Um, and then again, just put the battery interrupter in the positive terminal spot. I can do this one faster than the other one. Yep. Make sure it's on. And then I'm gonna pour the bubbles in the front. You like this one, don't you? And go ahead and push the button, make them blow bubbles. There you go. And that's how you make an adaptive toy with a battery interrupter. Thank you very much.